Hello everybody, I'm Michael Dana. And I'm Kristen Oaks. Thanks for joining us on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only program that brings together Louisiana farmers and consumers each and every week. On today's show, we begin a series of reports from Central America, looking at the agriculture of Panama, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica. While as A.J. Sabine and I traveled with members of the LSU Ag Center's Ag Leadership Development Program to those three countries between January 22nd and February the 3rd. The two-year program culminates with an international tour of agriculture somewhere in the world. First up, a look at the Panama Canal and how Louisiana's grain export operations play a critical role when it comes to shipping our farm commodities around the world. <laughs> When the Panama Canal opened in 1914, it was considered one of the seven wonders of the modern world. Built at a cost of $400 million, the American-led canal project was the greatest construction endeavor ever undertaken by the United States. Today, the Panama Canal is still a wonder of global commerce. Every day, 40 ships pass through the canal, with 60% of those vessels either originating in or bound for the U.S. And while container ships top the list of transport vessels traversing the canal each year, grain ships are a close second. Each week, more than one million tons of grain move through the canal. And much of the corn and soybeans shipped from the U.S. to the canal each year start at grain elevators along the Mississippi River right here in Louisiana. The majority of the grains that go from the U.S. go to, to Asia they come from those ports. So they are very, very, very important. Members of the LSU Ag Leadership Program watched as the huge vessels made their way through the canal during our visit January 24th. The group then made its way to the Atlantic side of the canal to see the new expansion project taking place there. The new locks at a cost of $5 billion will double the capacity of the canal, allowing it to accommodate some of the biggest Panamax ships in the world. And driving much of the expansion is increased grain export demand from countries like China and India. China is a very good partner for U.S. grain and that weighs heavily on ships being able to get through the Panama Canal. Um, that is our source to, to get to China, is through the Panama Canal. So uh, you, you can't say enough how important it is that, that this channel uh, remains open and, and runs effectively. Now, Jeremy Raley said his company, Big River Rice and Grain, is expanding its grain handling capacity at its Lake Providence elevator. And as we mentioned, container ships make up the majority of vessels moving through the canal. Those ships carry everything from TVs to iPhones. Grain is number two, followed by crude oil tankers. The Canal Authority says once the expansion project is complete sometime late next year, more than half of the world's petroleum tankers will be able to pass through the Panama Canal. And Kristen, that $400 million it took to build the canal back in 1914, well, if you took that same project today and adjusted it for 100 years of inflation, a Panama Canal would cost you $10 billion. 